Yo. Jared. What's good, my G? Hey, man, good to finally put a face to the name. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, you know, I got a couple questions I wanted to ask you. I'm going to ask everybody, but uh, you're the first one. I haven't done this with anybody else yet, so. Yeah, my name is Dennis. I go by Decisive Productions. I'm originally from New York. Um, I mean, I was, I was actually born in Texas. I was born in Houston, moved to New York when I was seven with my folks. And um, yeah, I grew up in Bayside, Queens um, until, you know what I'm saying, music and, and work and took me across the country, so. Oh, yeah. What was the first moment you realized, oh, I want to be a producer? Like um, it's interesting because it, it happened out of necessity. So what I mean by that is growing up, you know, I started off playing clarinet in elementary school in the band. I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. And my dad came home one day with a saxophone and he was like, listen, if you really want to take this up, let's try to get you with the jazz. Let's try to um, improve your skills and, and learn more about music. So that's kind of the path I took. I had no money. I'm a pro college kid. And I'm like, this music, this band thing isn't really taking me anywhere. So the first job I got out of there was was DJing, spinning at frat parties and the local clubs there and stuff like that. And it got to a point where I'm learning these tricks about DJing and how to blend, you know, how to, how to beat match and everything else. And through that, I was like, oh, cool. I understand the concept. Why can't I make remixes and throw my own stuff on that? And that was kind of the gateway that led to me, you know, getting some software learning the ins and outs of studio work and really diving into production at that at that point how did you get introduced to my music like what song or album did you hear that introduced you to my work or, or was it or was it twitch or was it this was it this contest that brought you to me yeah yeah it's it's like a spider web of connections that led me to you and again i think it's kind of fate but i was out of music for a very long time until finally this year with COVID happening um, my fiance was like, yo, yo we got to get you back in there. You know, we can't let your talent go to waste. Wow. And, um, I remember that first day I, I logged onto Twitch and I was like, you know, I, I hear this thing blowing up. Let me see what it's all about. Uh, ran into Illmind's Twitch stream and he's dropping gems and he's like, yeah, you know, it's about collaboration and stuff. And I kind of knew that on the back of my mind. I just never tried approaching that avenue. But as soon as he said that, and some of the, the things he was saying, as I started applying it to, you know, to my own workflow and everything, I was, I was like, yo, this is, this is legit. Like, it's really working. So that's when I was like, okay, I got to stop thinking about pushing stuff and, and try to force things to happen. Um, let the synergy, let, let the universe bring us together then. So I just started networking. I started trying to listen to more music, going outside of my spectrum of things. And uh, just looking through Illmind's discography and everything that, that he's done, you know, I came across a few of your joys. So I was like, this is crazy. So then that led me to go to dig more about you and your Spotify and everything else. And I was like, yo, this guy's music is ridiculous. And then that led me to your IG page. I saw the announcement. I was like, yo, this is an opportunity I cannot miss. So I just, you know, shot, shoot my shot and <laughs> pray for the best. And um, you know, fate brought us together. It's all about collaboration, man. I feel like music in general is just this type of sport that you cannot play by yourself. Like, sure. Yep. Anyone could be an 100 percent writer or and producer of a record but when you really want as many possibilities of creatively as you can get you're, you're better off trading and bouncing ideas off with with as many people as you can talk to me about like the the specifics of like the loop that you actually sent me, you know yeah um when it when it comes to making loops you know what i'm saying um i don't have a specific idea really um, it's just, it's a, it catching that vibe and, and that, that loop that I sent you for that record was, was really just inspired by going around in circles and, and just trying to rip my hair out saying these notes don't align up, something doesn't line up. And I was like, you know what, let me just bring it back to the fundamentals and basics. You know, I think collaboration is amazing because like you were saying, it's cool if you do your own thing and you're hundred percent writing, producing, mixing, engineering, doing it all. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Cause you got the skill set to do so, but. I feel like you limit yourself, like like you got these horse blinders on. Unmarked territory, as opposed to it's really good. Like we know 100% could be great, yeah. but we limit ourselves to know what else is out there. This is just the beginning, man. I, I love the synergy we got going on, and, and you're just, you're, you're a creative genius, man. Some of the stuff you're just laying out is just is wild, man. So I'm super excited and, and happy for you to, to listen to the entire album, not just the records we worked on. And uh, yeah, man, to bigger and better things, man. Hell yeah. All right, Dennis, thank you. And uh, 
We'll speak soon, man. I'll see you. I appreciate you, bro. You too. Bro. Yeah.